Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. The 3.8 live stream for Genshin Impact has just dropped. So I'm going to watch it, react to it. And um, yeah, we're going to see if we, we can see any sneaks for Fontaine. What's coming in 3.8? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. All right, let's go. Long, long ago, there was a place in the desert called Bottle Land. Hmm? You wanted to learn more about Bottle Land? I left that place long ago, but I still clearly remember its beautiful sights, even to this day. Whenever travelers ask me Wait, how to travel Alice? to Bottle Land, I warn them that the desert is a very dangerous place. Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The treasures of Bottle Land are as good as mine! I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't <laughs> Wait, what? have played with magic like that. Now I can't find my way back home. Oh my god, please. The desert entices people with hope. But it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an endless and refreshing spring, revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the arid desert. My dear weary traveler... Why do you Wait, wish to Coca enter the Bee. desert? Are you so determined to find Bottle Land? <laughs> All right, I will help you then. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm confused. <gasps> Wait, so this looks so cute. Clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? Okay, Eula and Kale. Clee, quick, get in the light. Coming. Oh, oh my God, this is the skin. It's so cute. Kaya can be the and Kaya. Oh my God, the Kaya skin looks incredible. <laughs> this looks so cute. Wait. Let's go. Wait, it's a roller coaster. Okay, this is very cute. Oh. Wait, this is all very. <laughs> This is very cute. Look at that huge tent! Do any of you have oh, experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. For that clean skin, I want it so bad. Oh, I need clean first, but... That clay skin is so cute. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Wait, what? Clee's gonna go visit her mom? Oh, redemption code one. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.8 special program. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether, and as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hello, everybody! I'm Poonam Basu, and I voice Fortnite Klee of the Knights of the 
Pony-ish. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> She's so cute. Oh. Hello, everyone. I am Risa Mei, the voice of Watatsumi Island's Divine Priestess, Sangonomiya Kokomi. Woo, yay! Wow, yes. so relaxing and elegant. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the Reconnaissance Company and the Spindrift Knight, Eula. Vengeance will be mine. Woo! Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. my words. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. And I believe this is the first time we've had Risa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! yay! I, I get to Wait, be Wait, actually? <laughs> it's been so three cute. years. <laughs> or two years or something. Oh yay! I'm so happy, yay! Well, I'm glad to have you both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottle Land. <laughs> and in this process, we'll be revealing upcoming content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story today. <laughs> oh, that sounds so interesting. So what are everybody's roles? I'll be playing a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Mm. I'm a little mage who left Bottle Land. So fitting. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what I'll be? A knight from Bottle Land. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be a guide from Bottle Land. <laughs> wait. wait. Wait a second. How come I'm the only one not from Bottle Land? Outlander, your journey ends here. No! <laughs> Uh, you're not invited. What? <laughs> I guess I'm just kidding, Zag. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> and this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling the fairy tale with you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, let's begin exploring the first act of our story, the Little Mage's Magic. Oh, uh, wait. So, are we, are we starting already? Yep. Let's see what the fairy tale will reveal first. And action. Ooh. The exact location of Bottle Land can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottle Land. The little mage was practicing her magic as the grand mage had instructed. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. She already knew the Grand Mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer books. Hmm. Teleportation magic? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I want to visit every kingdom that Wait, I've read about. Wait, she has about the little daughter tales. The little Please. mage was very Can brave bring that and back? confident, Please. so she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. In fact, she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of her. After taking a few moments to compose herself, she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. The God of Fortune was evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, the little bottle land mage left her home. Wow! It really worked! Amazing! <laughs> The little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop, with an endless amount of mora in her pocket. She was excited to try all the different incantations she found, as if they were different flavors of candy. Divination magic? When spring water drops down pure and clear, into the future one may peer. Oh, this is just what I need! The little mage simply believed that these were miracles that were foretold in the prophecy. All right, <laughs> let's look at what the bottle foresees. Show me what we'll find in this adventure. Oh, it looks like the info on oh. the upcoming event wishes is Eula and Klee. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think we saw this coming. In the first part of version 3.8, Klee and Eula will be returning with their own event wishes. Oh, I'm so happy that Klee's back, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Eula, a new character. <laughs> now I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah. Oh, all, the, all the people who've been dreaming about getting uh, Eula finally okay. getting her well, back. So congratulations. Us, who else can we expect? for the next part. Congratulations. Well, like for the next part of version 3.8, we'll have returning event wishes for Sangonomiya Kokomi yes, and the Wanderer. Wanderer. Yay! Yay! 
I need his weapon, so this is really good. <laughs> this will be the perfect chance to hang out with some to be honest, I'll take either of their weapons, but okay, I really want I really hangout, need Wanderers. Kaya will get his very own hangout event in version 3.8. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> nice. I love Kaya. These hangout events are great for getting to know more about a character. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious guy, so mm -hmm. I'm super curious as to what we'll get to learn about him. <laughs> Oh, look, the bottle is still changing. <gasps> <gasps> and the skin. Please These skins are so good. I They're so cute. My mom. Oh. Come on, let's sneak off on an adventure. Nobody else can know. Ooh. Oh! Oh my gosh, Wait this is minute. amazing! Oh. Klee and Kaya are both getting new outfits! Oh. Oh. No way! This is so awesome! Wow! Klee's outfit actually makes her look like a little maid! Oh. She's, she's so cute! cute. She's so adorable! <laughs> I am so excited, y'all! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Totally. Oh, guys, and look at Kaya. Kaya's outfit yeah. seems to be playing. Like, so amazing. I love this. I love this for Kaya. Art. It's a very Kanrian <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Y'all, I bet I love the it. styles of these outfits are somehow related is it Kanrian or is it Sumeru? main event story. Oh. Sumeru. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a little From bit Subaru. curious about what kind of events we'll see too. Me too, yes. Yeah, same here. Right. You know what? Before we get to that, why don't we take a quick break and grab our second redemption yeah. code? Yes. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Sweet, totally. Okay, redemption code number two. Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and ancient place known as Bottle Land. Mm -hmm. Our last clues came from the Little Mage, but I don't have any more story to share for now. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have something here. It looks like a knight and a guide will be reunited in Bottle Land. Ooh. <laughs> okay then. Shall we continue our performance? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Let's continue our story with Act Two, Legend of the Magic Bottle. Of course, there were travelers who found and entered Bottle Land. Though most travelers chose to remain there, there were also some who decided to return to their homelands. But, their accounts of Bottle Land were all very different. If you ask me, it's been too long since I've left that place. Ahem. <clears throat> Shouldn't we call it the Valurium Mirage? <laughs> Welcome back, dear knight. We're in Bottle Land! <laughs> yep, yep. And we found lots of information to share with everybody, so strap in. Yep. So, first of all, we have our main event for version 3.8. Wait, we get a character on and an a skin. Island, like usual. Okay. Instead, it takes place inside a bottle located somewhere in the desert. Ooh. There will be many items called dry vouchers, which are scattered throughout the areas. Travelers will be able to collect them to obtain some rewards. Yep. Including <gasps> Kaya's new outfit. Yes. <laughs> I need to get that. <laughs> oh, right. Yes. Well, since it's the desert, I love that I we're getting a Layla. Um, a variety of for free for this event. Uh, I need more content. I hope the vouchers so won't be hidden in some extremely hard to reach places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. I know, right? Uh, but there's no need to worry, because the travelers are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. Ooh. So, for example, right? We can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more oh. easily. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And in addition to collecting vouchers, Bottle Land also has many unique attractions. Ooh. Absolutely. So first up, we have the preprints. Hmm. 
Well, there are streaming projectors scattered throughout the Valyrian Mirage. It's said that if you place an object in the projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Ooh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but there is a slight problem. Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Okay. Travelers can open the streaming projector to enter the world of the preprint and make some oh, changes. This is like a 2D. But if we oh try my. to move straight through, we might encounter it's very some... sort of Mario. Well, in that case, we'll need to leave the preprint world and move some external objects to change the environment inside. Uh, oh. <laughs> Which will then allow us to pass through. That sounds awesome. Sounds yeah. super fun. Success. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to give it a try. Yeah, right? Well, in addition to the preprints, we'll also have a fun and new way to get around. You might even be able to call it a game mode. It's called the Choo Choo Cart. <gasps> Yeah, so uh, with the Choo Choo Cart, travelers can go to Choo Choo Cart stations in various areas of the Valyria Mirage to Okay, this the is kind of cool. Oh. I want oh I, I wanted to use this. this. Is so cool. That looks so fun. I love this. It's like a little baby uh, amusement yeah. cart. Well, not really baby. It's <laughs> going to give me a headache. <laughs> I, I can't do the loop for sure. <laughs> so oh. The Prince and Choo Choo Cart we just introduced were both open world game modes. But next, we have some event mini games. Mini -games. <laughs> Let's go. First up is the Spino Blaster. Ooh. So get ready for this, guys, because this one's got a long name. So its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. That's an epic name. <laughs> I think my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you got through that. Me too. <laughs> Well, apparently, it said that the name oh, is so it's an like, accurate okay. reflection of its appearance and its underlying principles. Aww. Apparently, that's, that's what it says. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it uses stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. And as a note, because I know some of you will be concerned about this, the hydro bullets that it fires are safe and they're used for leisure purposes only. Yay. Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And once it's out of ammunition, okay. It's so it's just like a a, of time it, a water shooting supply. game. Absolutely. That's kind of cool. But I like if that. you need to, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Mm, noted. Mm -hmm. So use the cannon to hit as many of the target balls as you can within the time limit to earn points. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls to aim at. These include Ordinormy, Tiny Vantage. Ruhaha, Overdrive, and Dual Charge Target Balls. <laughs> wow. Ruhaha. <laughs> That's quite the list. Yeah, actually, that's quite fun, actually. Yeah, some, some fun names in there, huh? Uh, so another they're totally going with this, um, this fairground. So travelers can break its theme. enter and enhance date. I'm all here for it. This could be so ammo. fun. <laughs> also, yeah, right? So when your bullets hit the targets in this state, they will cause damage in a larger AoE. Travelers will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So, give it a shot. <laughs> uh, Let's shoot for the so stars. Funny. Love it. Thank you. Love a good pun. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, next up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. Travelers will have to control the barking fox oh, to reach oh. the destination within the time limit. So this is like They'll a have to collect as similar to what we had with possible while um, moving the fox. Sarosh with her little trials. So the coins okay. Are projections you can pass through. Oh, it looks so okay. great, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini game will contain sleet trust fruit, which can obstruct traveler sight. Players will also encounter disruptor orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They will just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time of the challenge as well as your score. So our oh. little barking fox buddy will be safe. Oh, yay! yay. <laughs> Love that. Now, guess what our next mini game is? <laughs> it's called. Dance of Flashing Thought. Uh oh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> nice. That this is like a rhythm like game. A game <laughs> oh, it's, right? a it's a combat it game. It sounds okay. like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. It just happens I to do take like place the on a stage, event. and some of the games. I think I think most people enjoy combat events. Theater. I love the Wait, we get to choose anyone? Right? Mm -hmm. Totally. 
Or is this just people that we have? Travelers will be able to adjust their party to fit the special features of the different stages. During the challenge, you can defeat opponents to accumulate honed will. And once you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. Go for it. Wow, they defeated all those monsters almost immediately. Yeah, right? That's really cool, it right? It seems like their movement <laughs> speed increased. Get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the buffs you can get. That's pretty epic. <laughs> so epic. I love this. This is yeah. so fun. I can't wait to play this. So strong. <laughs> and so finally, we have our last mini game. <gasps> and the theme of this mini game is. The rum roll. But it did it. Finches are the cutest! What? What? Huh? <laughs> Our last mini game is called Bing Bang Finch oh. Ball. Amazing. Oh. So, I've got a finch fact. Oh. It it's Pimble. When <laughs> it's Pimble. Deflect, they'll press the tree branch down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound to accelerate. Oh. Cool. Oh. It's like, so it's like balls. Is one of I guess. For finch if ball. you know what that is. I see. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be launching a certain number of finch balls in order. Place as many finch balls as you can in high scoring zones and reach the set scores to complete the challenges. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. Hmm. So, if the finch ball stops inside the red zone, you will earn four points. If it stops within a yellow zone, you will earn two points. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be one point. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're going to want to press the launch button at the right time to set the direction before entering the charging sequence. Release the button to launch the finch ball in the corresponding direction. So, I know, it may sound simple, but you'll find that there's some finesse to getting it right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to ordinary finch balls, they also have some very special types. Mm. Oh. Sticky finch balls and pretty finch balls. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, look, the sticky finch ball is giving it a little hug. Oh, that's so cute. Stop <laughs> it. It's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone try these mini games out in version 3.8. Oh, okay. and I still have more news. In addition to our main in-game event, we also have some info about upcoming events outside the game. Poyo Fest. Poyo Fest 2023 is just around the corner. Woo! <laughs> so excited. Starting in July, Hoyoverse will continuously bring you all sorts of exciting online and offline Hoyo Fest events. Whether it's Hoyo Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. We are excited to see our travelers participate in these events. Travelers who would like to learn more about these events should follow Genshin Impact's official social media channels and keep an eye out for more related info in the future. Oh, heck okay. yeah. Super excited. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> also, Genshin Impact's third commemorative <gasps> OST yes. album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 3, will be released during version 3.8. I know some travelers have been highly anticipating this one. The album includes three discs by the Hoyo Mix team, which contain the original music of version 3.0 to version 3.8. This album okay. will include music from storyline videos and animations as Finally, well I as need to find events. some of these tracks. Awesome. So, oh, so I think it's good that they're giving them to Wait, us. So that means that it should include music from the sub Zero's festival and the r, yes. r music, right? Yeah, yeah, I bet some travelers remember that event. The music was so good. Right? <laughs> yeah, have it on repeat. The album will also feature music from the Wind Bloom Festival okay. by Lisa Fest, and even the music from our version 3.8 Valyria Mirage event. Let's check out a preview of the album. I love that we're getting more music. That is that's actually really good. Ooh. Third third redemption code. And the fact that it's Wanderer in uh in Sumeru as well. Okay. Ooh. 
Welcome back, everyone! We've already introduced a bunch of exciting events, but do we have other updates for this version? Mm-hmm. We still have lots of content to introduce. Everything we've covered so far was related to the limited time map. We still have more surprises for you! Oh, ah, right! Okay. Well, let me see here. Uh, okay, this is my part. All right, then. Let's begin the third act of our story. I think I'm... Treasures. I'm, like, very excited to explore the new, like, limited time area. Because it is Where literally something I? we've never been to before. What a strange place. Um, and this will be the first huh? kind of, like, point eight event two? that I've ever been part of. That's exactly what we'd like to ask you, mister. Ooh. It's all right. I invited him here. Welcome to Bottle Land. This is Bottle Land? Yes. That's right. <laughs> All right. Then where's the legendary treasure? It's right here on this map. If you find it, then it's yours. Wait, that's all there is to it? Really? Uh, okay then. I didn't expect I'd get the info Shared so easily. Sight. <laughs> Let's see. The first event is called Shared Sight. In this event, travelers will assist a researcher who is collecting experimental data. We will need to use an item called the inscribed mirror to find and recover small animals in order to complete the experiment. Wait, what? Travelers may use the device linked to the inscribed mirror to view the environment from the animal's point of view. Oh. Use the information from what you can see to figure out their location and recover them. Oh, actually, the that's kind of a cute event. Called Perilous Expedition. Ooh. Travelers will need to help a Liyue adventurer study Sumeru's geography and hydrology. Mm. But despite its name, this will actually be a combat event. Cool! Ooh, I love Hi. fighting combat! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> During the event, a new area will unlock for us to explore each day, and we'll need to fight our way through. Mm. Each exploration consists of three combat rounds. If the team compositions are varied enough, then a stackable buff will be activated. Each exploration has different challenges. This will be a great chance for players to test out different character combinations. I love that. Yeah, oh. Let's do it. <laughs> Our third event is called Adventurer's Trials Advanced. The branch master so many of the events. Adventurer's Guild has prepared new challenges to help train rookie adventurers. In the sequential trials, you will need to pass three consecutive trial challenges in a single run. As for fortuitous trials, Three trial challenges will be randomly generated after you enter the domain. There will be a variety of fun mini-games, such as flying and collecting adventure coins while dodging attacks, kicking slimes into the goals, oh, I remember and skillfully those. dodging various traps. Oh, I and love kicking slimes. <laughs> My favorite. <Me> too. <laughs> but that's not all. Genius Invocation TCG will um. also be receiving an update. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> new character cards will be added, and a new game mode called the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will be available in version 3.8. Different <gasps> Kazuha! Special rules okay, we got Candor, buffs, and a variety of opponents to battle against. Okay, Kazuha and Yanfei. Okay, I get it. So, travelers will need to pit their well-constructed decks against endless waves of enemies for a set amount of rounds. The more enemies you defeat, the more points you earn. That's right. Yes. Okay. Well, that covers everything we have for version 3.8. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. So much Let's success. go. Yeah. <laughs> Love I still need to collect all the uh, well, other cards our from the last about the time we got an update. Expedition is finally drawing to a close. What? Wait. Already? Wait, wait, wait. But oh. what about our little mage? She still hasn't returned since she left home, right? Oh, you're, oh, right. you're right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it says here that the little mage saved the parched adventurer in the desert, and the adventurer led her on a wonderful journey. Oh, oh okay, cool. Thank you. That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, did you enjoy this little story? Yeah, I liked yeah. it. Yeah, I like stories. Uh, it was okay. Oh, what a <laughs> tough crowd. But it's all right. I have another little tale that I'll share once everyone has finished discussing their impressions from today. Wait, what? Well, looks like it's that time again. What did you all think about being on the special program today? Anything you're particularly Wait, looking forward to story. in version 3.8? Wait! Caesar, you could say that the Secret Summer Paradise event is a gift that Alice made for her daughter Klee. And I hope everyone can enjoy the adorable 
adorable adventure and enjoy all the fun updates in this version. Like the sticky finch balls. I love them so much. Yes, I know. I, I can't wait for all of it. It all seems like so much fun. Um, I think my favorite's gotta be the new outfits. I mean, oh Kaya's outfit. Oh, yes. <laughs> they are so and cute. Oh, the hat. I can't. I love them. I love them. You guys just listed some of my favorites, but I also like really just kicking slimes <gasps> and right. the fact that yes. we're all coming back. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. That's all we have for today's special program. We hope to see everyone enjoying the new in-game events. Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. <laughs> now then, let me tell you all a tale. It's a cute story. I hope it'll appear in your slumbering dreams tonight. Hmm. Ready? Here we go. Oh, God. Fontaine! In the Nation of Justice, Let's there's go. a little upstanding Melazine. She's considered Wait, to be one of the most diligent oh gosh, in her so duties, cute. even among her Wait, kids. look at it. Look how hard I'm so she's excited. working for justice in this nation, even today. Don't let this little Melazine size fool you. Oh, so beautiful. What she lacks in size, she makes up for in her sense of justice. Bolstered oh. by her convictions, she patrols Fleur Sandra fearlessly by herself. If anyone suspicious appears, such as an unknown outlander, Ooh, she'll yes. be sure to watch their every Dive move. In. Oh my. But before anything suspicious occurs, the just little Melazine will never act this is so cool. and accuse an innocent person. Well, Ooh. not usually that is what but if the upstanding outlander isn't careful wait 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 wait, 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 wait. is this an ability you get as part of the underwater experience or is this actually his, like influence from his like fate traveler induced thing well, <laughs> not usually that is I get away! Fontaine, let's go! But if the upstanding outlander isn't careful and finds themselves caught up in some misunderstanding, then we can let the court decide their fate. Okay, I need to listen to Just everything she says again. By herself, if anyone suspicious appears, such as an unknown outlander... Look at it! It's so cool. She'll be sure to watch their every move. But I cannot wait to get exploring. Before anything suspicious occurs, the just little Melazine will never act without authorization and accuse an innocent person. Well, not usually, that is. But if the upstanding outlander isn't careful and finds themselves caught up in some misunderstanding, then we can let the court decide their fate. Oh, okay. So we might get caught in a misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. So that was the 3.8 special program. I am so excited for A, this update, and B, Fontaine. The fact that we got to see some more of uh, of what we could expect is... Yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, all right, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. Um, and hit that like button on this video. And let us know, what are you most excited for in, in, uh, for Fontaine and for this update? Um, put it in the comments below. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.